Le Chalet, so French tea room based in Leeds in the city center. We have teas, we sell coffee, we sell cakes, we also bake birthday cakes, we make scones here. We do breakfast and our menu is the biggest of uh, Leeds. Uh, you can have our design dishes or you can make your own dishes and then we move to lunch and we do the lunch boards and we do as well afternoon tea uh, which we are definitely a number one on that and then we go on to the cheese nights uh, where we do fondue and raclette uh, and these nights are really super fun and then we do the corporates and the corporate catering we believe in fresh products which is the reason why we make everything here fresh we make our cakes, we bake the bread in the morning. We have a really big menu. It is different. When you make everything fresh every day, it's completely the taste, it's completely different. We, we try to create the newest and the best. What sets us apart from other uh, restaurants is a lifestyle. People come first. It's not the business come first. It's where focus is on the customer, it's on their experience to have a good, unique time. We come because the place is magic. The staff, the food, the atmosphere, we just love it. And in a city like Leeds, it's inundated with restaurants. So you have to be a bit special. And this is a bit special. Mm. So Le Chalet is what I call the home of happiness. It's where people belong, uh, either staff or customer. You have this feel of a community there. Uh, they come into their second home kind of way. They're coming to see their family, their friends. Um, and we offer things to go along with that. We do hold cheese nights, tea tasting and board games. So we do a lot of other activities that go with the other stuff we do. The Chalet have few problems. First, we are not in a location where people see us on the street. It's a little gem in the center of Leeds, um, yet it's a bit hard to find. You have to see the signs and then you have to climb up the steps and then enter. We don't get genuinely passerbys because it takes an effort for people to just do the turn and come inside the building and they cannot see what's going on inside here at all. The main problem is our infrastructure is extremely small and impractical small. We extended our way in here to the maximum, maximum. We do have problem with the space. We definitely need a bigger restaurant so we can fit more people because we often need to squash the people a lot if we have big bookings or we have very small storage which is very difficult to access. We have only one toilet so when the restaurant is full during the weekends or even during weekdays sometimes there are queues in front of the toilet so we definitely need bigger space. About the kitchen, it's really, really small, you know, for kitchen. Bakery and kitchen like this, we it's like a miracle, you know. If two chefs work together, like dancing together. So, of course, busy times becomes on one chef heavy. So we are looking definitely for investment to, to enable us to move to a better premises uh, on the high street so the customer can see us on the street. Uh, plus, as well, we have a better infrastructure that to be able to serve the customers in a better way. If we serve the customer in a better way, we will grow the business even more. So it's a, a rolling on effect in a positive way. So we definitely we need investors or partners to come on board and support our growth plan. So we would love to hear from people who are buying into our message uh, and are willing to support our growth plan um, and I'm happy to answer any questions from there.